Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carolina and today I am going to talk to you guys about my first trimester pregnancy update and I have not filmed a video in a few weeks only because I am feeling very very exhausted all the time and I am in nursing school and it's a fast-paced nursing school so I, I am very busy and I do also have two kids that I have to take care of and I have to do all of these things um, and I have not been feeling so well so I've been putting it off and I am currently 14 weeks and four or five days I'm not sure um, so so 14 weeks almost 15 weeks and I have been putting this video off I just started my second trimester so it is time to talk about what happened or how I was feeling in my first trimester and let me tell you that it has been the most difficult and the most different um, pregnancy experience <laughs> only I think only because my first pregnancy was very smooth and very nice my second one was pretty it was hard but um, this one has been the hardest out of all the other two <laughs> so okay so where do I start um, <laughs> the first pregnancy symptom before I knew I was pregnant um, I think I was around now calculating looking back I was probably three weeks pregnant when I started feeling these symptoms and I had no clue that I was pregnant until I was like six weeks okay and so let me give you a little bit of background I started feeling I was in my first in fundamentals a term for nursing school and it was I was getting ready for finals and a week before finals I started feeling nauseous but before I could notice the nausea I could I I would feel chills all over my body but everything the nausea and the chills were very very minor so I was like okay I, I kept feeling um, like I was gonna get a cold or maybe the flu um, so I kept brushing it off as oh I'm gonna get a cold I'm gonna get sick um, uh, maybe because I was so stressed out and finals were coming so you know your immune system is a little low so then you, you tend to get more sick around finals and midterms and stuff so that is all I thought and um, two weeks after that I was already five weeks pregnant okay so I was still feeling chills and nausea but like three times worse than how I felt and I in my mind I still thought that I was still gonna get the cold or flu I was like okay it's been two weeks I have not gotten sick but I still feel like I am going to be so <laughs> I was still thinking that but then something in the back of my mind kept saying uh, this is this does not feel okay something is going on with the, your body uh, with my body um, I was on the depot shot um, I got my last depot shot in December so I was already pregnant technically but when I went um, the pregnancy test was negative um, but I was already pregnant um, so they went ahead and still gave me the shot and when I looked up a few days after like being five weeks um, I started feeling like oh okay like this is this doesn't feel okay I don't know just something in my mind kept saying like this, something is off you're it's not just you're gonna get a cold or flu um, it's not just finals because finals were over um, and I was thinking that maybe these were side effects to the depo shot so I kept looking online um, for depo shot symptoms and because the depo shot gives your body um, like it tricks it into believing that you're pregnant or I don't know something like that <laughs> um, so it gives you some pregnancy symptoms like nausea and uh, some other ones right you get more hungry uh, that's why you tend to gain gain a bit of weight with the depot shot um, but so when I kept looking online 
it kept saying all the symptoms that I had. So chill, not chills, but it had like, nausea. I think it did have chills. I'm not sure. But it had all the symptoms that I had. So I was like, okay, maybe it's the depot shot. Side effects. <laughs> um, um, and, and after I looked online for the depot, depot shot side effects, um, I was talking to John, my boyfriend, and I kept, I told him one day, um, and I was already six weeks, and I told him, something doesn't feel right I've had the chills and nausea for four weeks or like three and a half weeks almost four um, and something doesn't feel right what if I take a pregnancy test I could be pregnant although we were on the depot shot um, I was like it, it could be a possibility a possibility that I am pregnant um, so he's like no I don't think you are um, <laughs> similar to how we, how we didn't think we were pregnant with my second um, it was kind of the same thing but I, I kind of knew that something wasn't right um, and so I went to Planned Parenthood and wait no 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 before I went to Planned Parenthood we already knew I was pregnant um, because I told him you know what the, 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 the moment that I told him you know what I think I'm pregnant I did look up these symptoms for the depo shot and they're similar to symptoms of being pregnant but you know, I can take a pregnancy test just in case. Can you go get me one right now? And he went that moment and he brought me a box with two tests on them. So I went to the restroom and I took the pregnancy test and I put them upside down on the bathroom counter and I didn't think that they would be positive at all. I knew that there was a possibility, but I thought the chances were very low because I was on the depot shot, right? Um, <sighs> Oh my gosh, I went to go call John and I told him it's time um, to go look at the test. It's been three minutes. We can go and turn them around at the same time. So as soon as I turned, as soon as we turned over the tests, I knew immediately that it was a positive. But he kind of like took a minute like, okay, what does this say? <laughs> I don't know if he knew, but it, it seemed like it took him a while to really understand because he had to like look at the box and uh, figure out what two lines meant and I was like no I'm pregnant like I'm pregnant um like it says that I'm pregnant so <laughs> immediately I was still in a state of denial I was like no way so I got my computer and I was like um can the depot shot give you a false positive <laughs> uh, pregnancy test <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> and some some reviews for the pregnancy test and women who had been on the depot shot, shot said that yes, it did give a false positive, but a lot of the research reviews or whatever um, said that no, it cannot give you a false pregnancy. So I was like, okay, what do I believe? Um, I want to go with the the reviews of these women saying that it gives me a false positive because that's what that's what I wanted it to be not that I'm upset that I'm pregnant it's just I am in nursing school it's accelerated I did not want to be pregnant we had a plan of perhaps um, having another child after nursing school two years after nursing school <laughs> not not during nursing school okay that was like the worst case scenario that I had in my mind like before I was pregnant and then it happened so um right now I'm laughing about it but at the moment when I was like okay I I could be pregnant I was kind of devastated <laughs> um um yeah it was just there was a lot of emotions going on um so I told him I have to go to Planned Parenthood and make sure that the depot shot doesn't affect, first of all, if I am pregnant, that the depot shot doesn't affect the baby. Um, maybe it is a false positive. I want to figure all that out. So we went and they said, no, you are pregnant. The depot shot does not give you a false positive. Um, so you are, according to your last period, you are already two months. And I was like, there is no way I am two months because if, when I went to go get my depo shot and they took the pregnancy test before they give you the shot, um, if they would have, if I would have been a month at that time, then they would have detected that in the pregnancy test and they didn't. So I was like, there's no way that I'm two months pregnant. Um, that's only according to my last period, which I got in November. I did not get in December and I did not get in January. So 
I made my first OB um, appointment to the OB clinic that I went to with my first daughter in Hollywood. Um, and when we went to go get the ultrasound, um, they said that I was at the time, I think I was seven weeks and some days already. Um, so, um, yes, I was seven weeks, some days, my first OB, OBGYN appointment. And I was already, my nausea was severe and my chills were getting worse. And I, uh, it was it two days after my OBGYN appointment? Um, I could not stand my chills. I think it was a week or my second week of med surge term because my nursing program is fast paced so after finals I had like a few days of vacation and med surge starts up uh, like a few days after that right so I was already two weeks into my med surge term and I it was a Sunday and I go to clinicals on Monday so I was not feeling well on Sunday my chills were just like they were just it, my chills were very just increasing that day on Sunday and my nausea because I had chills my nausea was like off so over the place um, um, I'm sorry guys I'm trying to remember this was back like seven weeks ago so I'm trying to remember exactly how everything went down um, but it went some, something like that right um, so I had the chosen nausea and I was like oh my goodness I have to wake up at 4 in the morning to get ready and then go to my clinical site and I am not feeling well so I was like okay I'm gonna sleep it sleep it off and I'm gonna wake up at 4 in the morning and if I am not feeling well I'm going to message my clinical uh, instructor and let him know that I cannot go in um, and my school has a policy that you cannot miss clinicals and if you do you have to make it up so I knew that I could make it up so I told him I messaged him um, at 4 in the morning and I told him professor I'm not gonna be able to go in today I'm not feeling well um, these are my symptoms and I am currently pregnant and I was having I was having um, spotting I was having spotting and it was scaring me because uh, with my first pregnancy I was having spotting and it scared me because I didn't know that that was normal but this one I was having chills nausea and spotting no cramping but it was still kind of scary um, so I let him know what was going on and he did say okay well can you come in late he kept insisting for me to come in like come in come in come in and I was like professor you don't know that I am not feeling well I really I'm a person that even if I'm not feeling well I'll go in but if I'm feeling terrible like I just can't okay so so um, I could not push this one through I had was not feeling well I kind of knew that I was gonna go into the ER because I was not feeling well at all so I was like no professor I cannot go in so he's like okay come in the next day I was like all right okay I'll consider going in the next day if I'm feeling better um, but that that was not the case I could not because I ended up going into the ER um, and I was having nausea, vomiting, and then chills were really, really bad. I was very cold. I had like two sweaters and on, two, two sweaters on, and I was still cold. And I thought the chills were normal, like a normal pregnancy thing. I was like, okay, I have chills this pregnancy. Maybe it's like this weird new pregnancy symptom that I've that I have now that I have never experienced in my other pregnancies, right? Um, but um, when I did go to the ER, um, they told me that one, I had influenza A. I was influenza A positive, which I was like, what? Uh, there's no way. I don't have any like flu symptoms. Um, um, but they did say that the test was very sensitive, so it, it was probably like a false positive influenza A type A um, uh, result. Um, and I did have pyelonephritis and if you guys don't know what pyelonephritis is it is an infection of the kidneys um, I had a UTI and because I had no I had no symptoms of a UTI you know the the burning sensation when you when you urinate or any of that I didn't have any of that the only sign that I had was the chills and I had no idea that it was because of a UTI um, 
So I had a UTI and because the bacteria or the infection had moved up into my kidneys, it was developing into pyelonephritis. So they said that I had that and they gave me antibiotics uh, there through an IV. And they also gave me antibiotics in a pill form to take here at home for like 14 days. Um, and uh, it's totally safe for the baby. Um, but they were saying that if I, because UTIs are not a normal thing during pregnancy, it's actually very, uh, it's actually not very good to have a UTI when you're pregnant. So if you have chills during your pregnancy, you better go get checked out because it is danger. You don't want to have chills or UTI when you're pregnant. Um, you can go into early labor and that is just something that I didn't want to do, but I had no symptoms of a UTI. So I, there was no way that I can make an appointment to my, um, doctor um, and let them know what was going on so I had to go to the ER when it was already like this big big deal um, so as soon as I got the the antibiotics I started feeling better uh, the chills went away after like a few days uh, the nausea well, was still there but it was less because I had no chills so the chills would actually make my nausea worse um, and I also had a I, the bleeding was due to um, where the baby is at it's in a sack right and then over that sack there's like this other sack um, so I had there was like a bleeding what is it called subchorionic something subchorionic <laughs> bleeding um, uh, I, I don't know I forgot my papers and I forgot what it was called but it's subchorionic bleeding something like that um, so I have, I still have that, but it's less now and it's going to go away, um, you know, crossing my fingers because if it wasn't going away, then I could be at high risk or the baby. Um, so the doctor just said, if you have heavier bleeding or any of that, just come back and um, if you're going to have a miscarriage, you know, we, we want to save your life. Um, and if you need like... Uh, blood transfusion or any, any of that you know we want to get you here early and on time so um, that was what, what was going on <laughs> during my first trimester and I didn't really have any other symptoms other than nausea and chills because of the infection and also the the bleeding um, and I also did have a lot a lot of fatigue and exhaustion but I think it's because one I am in nursing school <laughs> and it's very very intense um, and I do have two kids that I have to take care of. My daughter has to go to school. My son, um, he has teachers coming here and, you know, they want to play. They want to go here. They want to go there. I need some me time. I need to try to exercise. And I have not exercised since I found out I was pregnant because I was all, I would exercise before I found out. Um, and it was very big, vigorous, but since I found out and I was not feeling well, I had to c cut back. Hey guys, I hope you guys can hear me. I had to change the uh, location where I was filming because I had to go pick up my daughter and the camera just turned off. So I had to start all over after I came back home, after picking up my daughter. And I am talking loud because my kids are here and they're playing around me so I don't want to sound very low and then like they're playing be louder than I am so I'm gonna be speaking loud so where I left off is that I had not I have not worked out in a few weeks um, I was doing vigorous cardio and also like uh, resistance um, but I have not worked out in almost two months uh, <laughs> but I started I, I did work out one time last week just to kind of feel how it's gonna feel because I am pregnant and I don't want to like lose weight so the only reason why I, why I will be working out is to maintain my health and have a healthy pregnancy as much as possible and something else that I have it's not really a symptom but um, now that I'm pregnant I cannot tolerate eating like a big dish now I have to eat lighter foods like lighter um, lighter meals every time I eat but more frequently so if I eat breakfast I'll have a bit of breakfast and then I'll have a snack and then so on so I eat more throughout the day but just less portions and, and I was already eating that way but now it like decreased even more 
um, my body just can't take eating so much at a time. I have to um, I have to separate my meals and um, it's kind of a good thing because I won't gain as much weight I feel uh, um, as long as I eat the right foods, right? Um, also, I cannot eat a lot of greasy foods. I do not want to eat red meats. I um, get disgusted with chicken. I have had chicken here and there um, from like Chick-fil-A uh, Chick -fil burger and stuff like that, but not much chicken. I kind of don't want it. Um, anything greasy, I don't really want. Everything that I, I um, and especially when I'm in clinicals, I have to take more breaks um, because I get very dizzy and very fatigued fast. So to like reboost or have like more energy, I have to like take frequent breaks and have something to eat so I can go back and take care of the patients. Also, um, and I talked to my professor about that and uh, he's fine. So the next term. I'll have another professor and then I'll talk to them about that and uh, like arrange something, right? Um, also, so things that I'm craving, um, I've been craving a lot of spicy foods. Everything, I'm craving more savory things, but I am also craving sweet stuff, but not as much as the savory. I want like spicy foods all the time and I craved a lot of spicy foods with my son and with my daughter, I craved more sweet, like, fruits. But uh, with, him, with him, I craved spicy. Now, I'm still craving, this pregnancy, I'm craving a lot of spicy foods. Um, and I, I'm also craving hot Cheetos. And you know the asteroids, the new hot Cheeto, well, they're not new because they came out a lot of, uh, 12 years ago or something like that. Um, but the asteroids are back. And I have not had a chance to purchase them so I've been craving that for years and then now that I'm pregnant and just knowing that the asteroids are gonna be bad I've been craving that and they're spicy too so I've been craving asteroids so um, I told John um, like you have to be in the lookout for them because I'm craving them to the max of anything spicy I will eat um, I do crave a lot of pineapple too with like tahini um, I love tahini and pineapple, so that's like sweet and spicy at the same time. Um, yeah, so no meats, no chicken, nothing greasy, but just like spicy and savory foods and less portions. Um, what else? I did gain four pounds. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. I gained four pounds already, and because before. Well, last year I got diagnosed with a, high, a bit of high cholesterol, and um, and I was a bit overweight, like two pounds overweight. Um, so I started working out more um, and just paying attention to what I was eating, and I lost a total of ten pounds. I went from one forty nine to one thirty nine, and uh, so that's the weight that I started with this pregnancy, um, a one thirty nine. Uh, it took me like almost, it took me a half a year to lose those 10 pounds um, uh, and just cut the habit of eating what I was eating a year ago. Um, and also, um, so I started off this pregnancy at 139 and I'm currently at 143, 144, something like that. So I've gained like 4 to 5 pounds. I don't want to gain more than 20 pounds. Um, um, 14 weeks currently, so I think that I won't gain more than like 25. I hope I'm crossing my fingers. Um, but that's pretty much it. I hope I didn't forget anything because because I want to include everything in one video. Um, so yeah, so I had the chills and the nausea, and that was due to the infection. Um, um, I do, I do have cravings for spicy foods. I am disgusted with like red meats and chickens and like greasy foods um, and that's pretty much it I don't know what else to add um, other than I'll probably show you guys the belly bump um, let me see I don't know if you guys can tell I don't want to stand up and do the whole thing but can you guys okay I already had a slight gut before I was pregnant so I just feel bloated and like I have a gut so I don't even feel like round yet, it just feels like 
like maybe just like a bloat here and just wide here <laughs> um yeah but um yeah i don't know this is it i don't want to stand up and show you guys everything um uh, yeah, I, feel, I just feel tired all the time. But yeah, my kids are excited. My daughter is excited. My son, he has no idea. Uh, he still wants to jump on top of me on my stomach. Um, but I have to like tell him, no, you can't. I'm like, there's a baby in my tummy. And then he tries to, let me see. And he doesn't see anything, so he doesn't really get it. Um, what else? Okay, so I think that's that's everything that I have to mention about my first trimester I really hope I didn't forget anything and I always always say this towards the end of my videos I hope I didn't miss anything because my mind is just everywhere it's in like nursing school and like my kids all the time so I I you know I always say I'm gonna write down like an outline but then every time I go based off an outline I feel like I'm so like monotone and like I just say what's on my mind I try to do the videos like that, although I do kind of plan what I'm going to say, but I don't necessarily write it. Um, I was going to write this one, but I I thought that I was taking too long, so I was like, okay, might as well just do it. Um, but the next video, I'm probably going to do a video on, like, gender predictions, right? I like all those, like, the old wives' tales and the Chinese calendar and base see what the gender is and see if it's right or wrong and um, I'm also gonna do a gender reveal but that's gonna be like late April because I do we will find out what the gender of the baby is in late April um, after Easter um, but it's gonna be a surprise so we're gonna go into the place and we're gonna ask them we don't want that we're gonna tell them not to tell us and they'll have to write in and then we're gonna we're gonna go. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing. We're probably gonna do the poppers or like the, the original balloon, the black balloon, or I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I enjoy talking to you guys about my first trimester with my third pregnancy. And um, I'll see you guys next video. Okay, bye bye.